Hey guys, it's Kendra with USA Teens Today. I'm recording again. Thank you for watching. This is USA Teens Today. It's our SAT test preparation. This is going to be on reading comprehension. Remember, your study style is different from everybody else's, so don't try to mimic anyone else. This is a, a shorter slide than what we're used to. We're listening to some of your feedback and your comments, so I'm going to make this as brief as possible. First quick tip you want to do for reading comprehension, as many of the other study sites tell you, you read the first questions of the reading comprehension paragraph. Okay, that way you're able to summarize and look back and see what's going on. Now, if you don't have time to read the full question, you look for keywords and we'll go over that. So let's look at this first one as a practice. And remember that this, some of these come from SATs before and some of them change around the subject area. But in general, the paragraph structure is just like the real scholastic aptitude test that is given. So let's read through this. Despite being one of the highest peaks in the world, Machu Picchu does not support volcanic activity. There's your premise, there it is, boom. So all you have to do now is go over here to the main purpose of the passage is to A, present a problem with the theory of plate tectonics, B, provide an overview of how magma and tectonic location determines the flow of a volcano, C, analyze the negative impacts of plate tectonics, or D, present evidence of why volcanic activity does not exist in regions of Peru. And if you were to run out of time, you could take a guess just by looking at this that despite being one of the highest peaks in the world, Machu Picchu does not support volcan volcanic excuse me, activity. So since all of these things here, plate tectonics, as you know from high school, does have something to do with volcanic activity, but you've got to determine which one of these questions is the most specific to answer. So are we providing an overview of how magma and tectonic location determines the flow of a volcano? I don't think so, because that is really too broad. And are we analyzing the negative impacts of plate tectonics? I don't know about that, because we're specifically talking about Machu Picchu, uh, a high mountain in Peru, and we're really talking about how it was formed. So these are some of the ways your mind has to actively think how to get through these. So as we started, we can dissect the question. It says if you read the questions first, you can see that Machu Picchu is used throughout the paragraph. This should be a hint to you that maybe the article is about Machu Picchu. Now we must determine what Machu Picchu is, and I skipped ahead and said it was a volcano, but you need to, I mean, I'm sorry, I said it was a mountain. You need to look at what that is and how you know it is, which really, you have to think through because it's not directly stated. It just says it doesn't support vol volcanism, and it just says it was kind of formed by tectonic plates. It just gets in here, and it says the first, the South American plate is proximate to the North Andes plate, and it really just talks about its location. So you may have to read through the next paragraph to figure that what Machu Picchu actually is. Okay, most of the paragraph, as we said, discusses plate tectonics in Machu Picchu. We should return to the premise that Machu Picchu does not support volcanic activity and go from there to look for an answer to the question. Okay, so in order to look for an answer to the question, we have to look for choices that buttress or support the premise, see what is too broad or too narrow. Too narrow. Does it present a problem with the theory of plate tectonics? Is anywhere in here saying anything about specifically plate tectonics? No. Machu Picchu, the lack of support for volcanism in Machu Picchu is due to its tectonic plates. The two tectonic plates in Machu Picchu border different areas. The first, the South American plate, is proximate to the North Andes plate. And so this question choice A is too broad, so we want to scratch it. B, do we provide an overview of how magma and tectonic location determines the flow of a volcano? That has not even been mentioned, so we just skip it and move on. C, analyze the negative impacts of plate tectonics. Is that really what we're doing? 
Are we analyzing negative impacts? We are talking about plate tectonics and what they had to do with Machu Picchu. That's too broad. Do we present evidence of why volcanic activities does not exist in regions in Peru? Circle backwards, guys and girls. Uh, go back to Machu Picchu does not support volcanic volcanic activity, and then all the rest of this is going into reasons for it. Machu Picchu is too high to support any of the volcanic reactions of their collision, and the collision, of course, had to do with the South American plate and the Nazca plate. So there you go. That's your answer. This is just a brief way of narrowing. I just sat here and wrote it down. Uh, if anybody wants this, you can email us and we'll go ahead and send this over to you because maybe when you're reading this paragraph, you can read in other textbooks uh, or SAT preparation and see if some of the words that are in the actual test are alike. Um, we found that a lot of words start with despite. And so you know, automatically you can go and see how the formation of the paragraphs occur. But anyway, this is just going over, are we speaking only of plate tectonics, which we went over in the last slide. This says, are we speaking about magma, the location of tectonics, report B and C, did the paragraph mention negative impacts? Did it focus uh, only on plate tectonics? And then we get to how this might be a possibility. Volcanic activity is not supported due to tectonic plates. That is straight from the paragraph. So this is a direct link to the main idea of the premise. And that's what this slide is about. Okay, so there's the answer to your question. You guys will bubble this in, but we put this here just to reinforce the answer. So here you are. Okay, next one. Quickly, quick tip number two. Now that you've read the first paragraph, or at least previewed it, skim through paragraphs two and three. Maybe the bulk of your answer to the questions that follow are located in these paragraphs. Okay, so here's the second paragraph from uh, the text. It says, one of the reasons Machu Picchu cannot support volcanic reactions is based on the location of both Machu Picchu and the plate tectonics. Volcanism in general is not able to occur on the elevation of Machu Picchu because the gases occurring from molten or completely hot magma gets thrown into the air. The high elevation of Machu Picchu is saturated with dew, moisture, and other forms of precipitation that help magma become cooler. Most of the reason the magma cools is due to the granite underneath the ridges of Machu Picchu's plates. The Incan peoples form buildings of cement and granite. Scholars have proven that the Incan civilization lasted millions of years past their destruction. Another reason Machu Picchu's atmosphere makes magma cooler is due to the rift created during the formation of Machu Picchu. This formation occurred over 200 million years ago. The formation occurred due to a volcano, even though Machu Picchu has not erupted or leaked a volcano in centuries. Ironically, the rift formed along the South American Cordillera, uh, which created Machu Picchu, is peaked on a shaft that appears unstable. However, the underlining terrain of Machu Picchu refuses to collapse based on the very continental drifts, shifts in tectonic plates, volcanic activity, and construction material used to create the mountain. So let's move on. And when we skim through the passage, we have to look at the organizational structure. How are the themes of these paragraphs that are helping to develop paragraph one? How are they working? How are the themes of these paragraphs help develop paragraph one? Are the themes the same in both paragraphs? What is the premise of each paragraph? What specific words are used? So you want to look at that. So the question is, which statement is supported by the high elevation in Machu Picchu, is saturated with dew, moisture, and other forms of precipitation that help magma become cooler? And you really have to read the sentences before you have choice A, the Incan civilization lasted millions of years past their destruction. 
And if you go here to the last sentence in the second paragraph, scholars have proven that the Incan civilization lasted millions of years past their destruction. Remember, guys, when I said second paragraph, this is the second paragraph of the whole article. So here it looks like the first, but it's really the second. So, but anyway, here is your statement. Scholars have proven the Incan civilization lasted millions of years past their destruction. Sentences before deal with the Incan peoples, formed buildings of cement and granite. So that really does not lead back to do moisture and other forms of precipitation. Okay. Choice B, the formation occurred over 200 million years ago. I'm going to go ahead and let you look at this slide for about 10 seconds. And I'm going to let you try to find where that is. And if you can't find the sentences before choice B, I want you to go ahead and try to form, find the sentences behind choice C. And that's what you would really do on a test. If you can't find something for one choice, you go on to the next choice to see if you can either include that or rule it out. Because remember, you have to use time. So here's a couple of seconds. I said 10, I might give you longer. Okay, guys, I gave you over 20 seconds. So you have, you have for choice B, the formation occurred over 2 million years ago. So it's really the sentence is this formation occurred over 200 million years ago. But the formation goes to and makes magma cooler is due to the rift created during the formation of Machu Picchu, which really does not deal with elevation. Okay, so you want to try to find that. We're going to move on to the next slide. And on the next slide, it's been done for you. And I'm going to tell you something. These choices are so close together that it's almost scary that the answers are the same. And that happens sometimes on the SAT, although not always. So you have to be careful. But if you look at it, you're able to mark up this passage. And again, if you can do this, if you're on the paper SAT, you can do it with a pencil. If you're on the uh, computerized SAT, you might have to have a notepad open up and maybe you can write some of this and don't try to write the whole sentence, but this is done for you. So let's go on. We did A and B. We did, let's deal with C. Ironically, the rift formed along the South American Cordillera, which created Machu Picchu, is peaked on a shaft that appears unstable. Hey guys, where is that? It's right here. The rift along South American, which created Machu Picchu, is peaked on a shaft that appears unstable. Now look. Since before has this formation occurred due to a volcano, even though Machu Picchu has not erupted or leaked a volcano in centuries. Underneath it, you have another sentence. But if you think about it, that really isn't answering the question about dew, moisture, and other forms of precipitation that help magma become cooler. So let's rule that out for now. Let's go to choice D. Volcanism in general is not, volcanism in general is not able to occur on the elevation of Machu Picchu because the gas is occurring from molten and completely hot magma gets thrown into the air. So let's go back to what happens there. If we look at it, do moisture and other forms of precipitation help the mass become cooler? Right there underneath that sentence is the high elevation of Machu Picchu saturated with do moisture and other forms that become cooler. And then here's the explanation for it, which is choice D. And it's underlined for you, so you reason backwards. That's what the SAT is. A bunch of words put together to formulate paragraphs to sound more complicated than what they really are. So there's your choice. And if you read through it, here it is. You can also place this slide on pause if you'd like to read more. 
Remember, you're reasoning backwards, okay? So we provided a shorter review of the SAT. We responded to your feedback. So if you have a chance, please like us on our YouTube channel or just like the video if you do. If you have any questions, please email us at either email address you see. Um, and keep in mind, we do not put you on a newsletter list through our email or through any of that. We don't send out post-its to you if you were contacted, you know, through YouTube. It was because you are a subscriber, and if you tell us not to, we won't. But we do appreciate you for looking at the video, and we hope you have a good day or a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye.